Good morning everyone, it's Nuno here and welcome to the third episode of the morning podcast. Today I would like to talk about the tools I use for my daily job. And I actually receive this question a lot, so I hope this podcast helps to clarify some of those questions. Now, as a laptop, I use a MacBook Pro 14-inch 2021. It's an M1, and I'm very happy with it. It's fast, and I've been using Apple for the last 10 years, I think. And it always surprised me how stable, fast it can be, and just... It's such a high quality product that I have no intentions of changing. As a local server, I use Laravel Valet. Now, I receive hundreds of messages, people trying to convince me how Docker is convenient and how just easy it is. But honestly, (laughs) nothing sounds or looks more convenient than Valet itself. It just works takes none time at all to just start with it and it just feels better for me. As an IDE or an editor for development, I mainly use Sublime Text. And this is one of those piece of softwares that I've been using for years and also works for me and i'm i feel really fast with it kind of difficult to explain when there is so many popular editor ide tools out there but in terms of speed of navigating on a code and then jump between files nothing for me is as fast as sublime text even for simple tasks as reviewing some code or trying to just brainstorm how I will develop a certain feature. Sublime Text is, for me, still the best tool for that out there. Now, I must admit that occasionally I may use PHPStorm for refactoring. Now, PHPStorm is very popular between PHP developers. And I must admit that the refactoring capacities of this tool are quite impressive. So I may switch to PHP Storm when it comes to that. Within PHP Storm, I usually mainly two plugins, the Laravel ID one, which you may know already, and obviously the PASS plugin, which gives me a great experience when using PASS and Laravel altogether. Now, switching for the terminal, I use a tool called Hyper. It's not as popular as iTerm2, I feel like, but it's definitely more pretty. (laughs) And that's the main reason I use Hyper. As a database management tool, I use SQLase. And again, SQLase is this kind of old school tool, but it still works for me. I know that some people use Table Plus, but I like SQL Ace a lot. As a tool to serve those databases, because Laravel Valet can serve like the HTTP part of your application, but you still need something to actually serve those databases. And I use a very simple tool called DBGing, which allows me to have a simple MySQL eight instance running locally. And I just start this instance, if I want to, on the DBing UI. Now, some last tools I use as well as a password manager. I like a lot the LastPass application. I've been using this um, for a while now, even though I've seen some recent tweets about how insecure this 
service might be. So I may, I may consider in the future to change. As a tool to talk with my friends, obviously at work, I use Slack to communicate within the Laravel team, but to, to talk with my personal buddies, I usually use Telegram. For music, I use Spotify. For emailing, I use Gmail. For all my side project servers, I tend to default to Forge. And if it's a big project, I may use Vapor to begin with. Finally, for my own blog, which is hosted on Forge, I have a newsletter service and I've been using MailCoach since the beta stage and it's working great for me. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this morning episode and see you next time.